bringing you the best of exclusive is exactly what we love to do here. Picking out the best of the best in the industry, you know how we do. It's never a dull moment with us here when it comes to exclusives. And of course, the Evil Blondie is ready to bring you this very interesting interview that I absolutely would enjoy. I am sitting right beside very amazing, interesting artist and producer, KM2. How you doing? <coughs> yeah, I'm doing okay. Um, Did uh, I do good with the introduction? Like KM2? That, that, that's perfect. No mistake. No mistake. Yeah, 10 over 10. Ah. Tell me about KMT, like somebody that just needs to know, has just finding out about KMT, just tell me. Um, okay, KMT um, is an amazing artist, a, um, a producer, you know, and um, a writer. So the things I do is, um, I sing, like before I started music, I started singing, yeah. then later on I, um, hop into production because I wanted to give myself the kind of sound that I want. Oh. There was a time like that back then when I wanted to record a song. So I told the producer that this is what I want. But he could not, he was trying to change my sound and my vibe. Probably he could not do that. What so what exactly I was not really happy. Oh. Then that, you know, prompted me to like, okay, I think I'm just going to go into this production to give myself the kind of sound exactly. I want. And um, today, um, like my song that I'm promoting currently, Peace of Mind, I produce the song. Oh. And so uh, I'm giving myself what I want. Not like I can't work with other producers, yeah. but it has to be what I like. What you like. My intake, everything is going to be included in your production and everything. Okay. So, yeah. Talking about that sound, like you said, your sound that is what you want <clears throat> and what you like. Yeah. What would you say your sound is? How would you describe your sound? Uh, I'm a fan of good music. I don't just do music because um, it's trending, you know, follow the trend and do this um, loud music and everything, you know. Uh, my genre is Afropop with a mixture of R&B in it. So, you know, that is the sound I try to create myself. Like, currently now I'm working on my EP and a lot of people come into the studio telling me that um, I need to be doing the popping sound and my piano and other things. Though I have one on my piano, but okay. it's still not that kind of, you know, that I, don't, I don't know how to do that yeah. because I stand for something. And what I stand for is, you know, after five, ten years, I want you to look back at my song and, you know, it's going to be new to you every time yeah. you hear it it's gonna be special and sound great unlike you know the songs that are popping now after six months one year you know you'll be tired of the song and everything so that's what i stand for good music good music and tell us about your songs and the ones that you, you know love my, my song yeah some of your songs that you have released and the ones that you like okay most. um i released um like officially now that yeah. i left production okay. to do music so i've dropped about three singles okay so the first um, one was an international collaboration with Ray Storm from Jamaica. Okay. And I think um, I really love the song so much, you know. It's something that is not local. The sound, the lyrics, the patois vibe and everything. Oh. Else. So then I dropped another one before this song. But this has to be my favorite now because then I actually featured the girl as a producer. Yeah. I didn't sing in the song. Oh. So you're like a producer and artist. So which one is your favorite? The one with the Jamaican or the Peace of Mind now? No, the Peace of Mind. It's actually my mind. favorite because okay. I, yes, you know, I did justice to it. Can you walk me through the process of Peace of Mind? Like when you were the creating <laughs> process of Peace of Mind from your scripting all the way down to like putting the whole thing together? Okay, yes. Um, there was a day I was just in the studio. I didn't have plans to record anything, you know. I divide just came, I started making the beats. And while I'm making the beats, I always have the kind of uh, melody yeah. in my head. So I'm just like, let me just put this thing down. And the moment I just put it in, I know this song is just going to be out. You know, it, it has been top notch and everything. So I had to like feature someone on it. Um, Jody, shout out to Jody. He's um, a little tiny. Um, so I put the guy on and the moment the guy came, because I sent the beat to him, he wrote his back. So the moment he came to the studio, he had to change his back. Like, oh, like he killed it already. So I have to like up the game. Yeah, but trust me, more. he actually okay. did fine as well. So, you know, it's just, the, the process is very beautiful. What is that thing you're looking for to in your career? Like that highlight, that moment you're like, this is, this is peak point for me when it comes to my career. I want to be at the peak whereby people will listen to my song, sing word to word. You know, like the show I went to last time, I didn't even know, like, you know, people already know this song. I just posted this thing on my social media that I'll be having a show here. And the amount of people that turned up for me, that was the release date for, yeah. because they hosted me at um, 
one of the big clubs in Ireland. Then. So I was there and you know, people were vibing to it and I was like, wow, so is this it? So I want to stand in O2 Arena tomorrow and you know, DJ stop the song and everybody singing the lyrics and yeah, that would be amazing. Okay. I don't care what they say or not, so you Okay, that's interesting. I've been having a lot of, I've been getting a lot of questions. Okay. You know, the peace of mind is not P E A C E, it's P I E C E. Okay. So like peace a peace, of mind. yeah. So now people ask me, it's supposed to be that peace of mind instead of that. So I said, okay, I know what I'm doing. Yeah. So imagine a guy that doesn't give his hundred percent to ladies. He's okay. used to it. Probably he's scared or something. But then he, he, you know, met this lady and they started things up and things, you know, sparked up and he had the change of heart and now he's loving more than he should. Oh, okay. And now he's looking for that peace of mind, which is the PEAC oh, oh. yeah, from the woman, whereby okay. it, it doesn't show that before. Yeah, so that's the storyline, you know, where you meet this amazing woman that can change your own narrative about women, that can change your narrative about life. You know, most guys are scared these days. They'll be like, ah, I'm scared of Nigerian girls. Uh, nobody will love you and everything. I don't think it's about Nigerian girls. I don't girls, know. No. So, you know, that's why I just took people through that story that don't get that, don't have that impression about them. There are people out there that can still love you, give you that 100% love, you know. So you just have to be ready. There is no man that will, you know, maybe you're saying, I'm a hard guy, hard guy, hard guy. You still get a woman that's still going to change that, your, you know, mindset and everything here. So that's what it's all about. I like that whole romantic love side mm, yeah. that you know Kim Hughes is bringing to us. Mm. Okay, finally, what uh, collaborations do you say you're looking forward to most? Like, which artists do you like? I want to collaborate with this artist, whether Nigerian and international. And like, these are your two highlights: one in Nigeria, one internationally. That like you say this this will make the highlight mm. of your career. Um, okay, if I should say who I would like to feature, I would say. Um, in Nigeria, we speed. Okay. Yeah, because... I, I was like, honestly, I was expecting you to maybe burn up. <laughs> no, I was going to mention know... him too. I'm not saying just for one hour. Okay. But like I said, like, we speed because of the kind of sound that makes, you know, the yeah. full vibe and yeah. all those things. You know, it's not the kind of artist that makes this loud music. So I think we will sing very well. Very well. You know, Burner Boy as well, we will sing. But currently, I'm recording a song right now that I think. Uh, the like of Davido or Tiwa Savage will be good on it because of the kind of vibe that I'm bringing for the song, yeah. Okay. So that's it. I'm keeping my fingers crossed for you. Yeah. Hopefully it works real soon. Definitely. Okay, internationally, which ones would you, you know, <laughs> which ones are your mind? Okay, internationally, um, I've always been a big fan of Rihanna. So I think it's with the kind Rihanna, of... Rihanna, though. Okay, like, the kind of song I make. Yeah. People say I make um, love. Am I the new definition of love in Nigerian music industry? And you know, my kind of love song is not just like regular lyrics. Like you can go online and check my song. Yeah. My lyrics are not cheap. Not like, you know, baby, baby, baby and all that. Not I, cheap. Not I cheap. I like that. Yeah. I, you know, I use interesting lyrics and yeah. I still arrive at the point that I'm talking about love. Yeah. But not in a common way. So. Real quick, one last word you have to people out there, anybody, maybe something you want people to remember you for. Um, I want people to remember me for the guy that wants to take this. Uh, music to the next level. I know people have been saying that, but in other way around, like I said, I'm not going to compromise my standard for anything. You know, maybe doing what is trending. I want people to remember me for this guy that knows his what, that know what he wants already before he's even there. You know, and it's not like because I'm a fast rising, I have to like do no. I'm sticking to that. The sky is definitely just the beginning. Thank you so much, KMT, for your time. It's been really amazing talking to you. I love getting yeah. into your world for this like little time yeah. but it was it was worth it every single ounce of it thank you very much well. thank you very and, um, much I, I was about losing concentration too yeah. because of the whole beauty and everything yeah okay, okay. 10 over 10 10 over 10 <laughs> plus 10 minus, yeah. nothing. minus nothing i love that thank yeah. you very much thank like you. i said bringing the best of the best is what we do now good music is hard to find it's really scarce and kmt is giving us Something that we'll always, always cherish over time, over the years. It's not stopping anytime soon. I'm keeping my fingers crossed for him. I'll be looking forward to all the good stuff and all the good things that he will be bringing to the industry. As you know, the Evo Blondie is signing out because we give you good stuff when it comes to exclusives here on E-Central. My name, again, is Oluchi, the Evo Blondie.